For a long time now, 9x9s haven't been really in need of demand. This is because of the Shangxiao 9x9. It was a great puzzle with amazing quality. But now, Yushin has come up with a 9x9. And it's time for me to review it. The Yushin Huolong 9x9 comes in at a height of 90.4 millimeters and weighs 490.0 grams. While it is a very large puzzle, in my opinion, I consider it to be a little bit um, light, but some people may consider it heavy depending on strength. I'm not saying that I'm strong, I'm just saying that it just feels light to me. Uh, compared to my V Cube 8, this puzzle is much lighter and it's because of that cubic shape that it performs a lot and that's really the reason why this cube feels very light to me. Uh, going on to the specifications, the puzzle comes in with Moyu color scheme and I personally, I personally think that the colors look very vibrant, very bright, very orangey. Mm. Turning on the puzzle is actually very fluid, very amazing for a 9x9. I really think that the puzzle is in incredible in my opinion and uh, um, I personally just love the way that it turns and it feels. It just turns really amazing as you can see. It turns really great and um, you know I didn't expect this kind of smooth turning. When I first unboxed the cube I didn't actually expect it to move so fluently but this is my first 9x9 so I can't really compare it to any other ones and that's kind of the downfall of this review. I think the cube is really great and I haven't put in any other sort of lube in it. Um, it still has the factory lube that was given to it um, when it came in with the package. But um, other than that, the puzzle is really amazing. The turning is very vibrant. I do average around maybe 45 minutes on this puzzle. Um, so I'm not the fastest 9x9 solver. But uh, other than that, this is a very high quality puzzle. It's very... It's colors are amazing and I've seen the Yushin um, main line of 10x10s, 11x11s, 8x8s, even 7x7s that they've created and it really doesn't compare to the Shank Shells anymore. Um, I really do think that if you're going to choose between the 9x9 or the Shang Shao, um, between Yushin and Shang Shao, I really do recommend getting this puzzle. From the cubicle.us, the cube costs $79.99, and from speedcubeshop.com, you can get the cube for $79.95. So, there's only really a four cent difference, but you know, if you want to go, you know, four cents cheaper, I recommend getting the, um, the speedcube shop one. Um, but luckily in the cubicle talk US they don't really have it out of stock. Currently right now, there's only three of these left as and from the website currently right now. So if you really want to get one, I recommend that you go get one from Speed Cube Shop. Or if they don't have any more, you can go ahead and get it from the cubicle.us. It's just a four set difference. It doesn't really, really factor into the solving. Um, my final thoughts on this cube is that this cube is incredible. It's fast turning. I love solving on it, even though I'm not fast with it, it's just very it's very enjoyable to turn, very enjoyable enjoyable to solve, and I take it with me on road trips um, just because I know I can solve it slow and I'm going to have a good time solving it. Um, I, will coming out, I will be coming out with a tutorial on how to solve this, um, but yeah, be on the lookout for that. Other than that, this is my review on the Shang, on the, I keep saying Shang Xiao, on the Yushin 9x9 wall long. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a like and go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace out.